I think it's a really dynamic place to be a PhD student. We have a really wide variety of interdisciplinary programmes and PhD students. We take applications from a wide variety of backgrounds. We take nurses, we take midwives, um, take other types of clinicians, healthcare professionals, um, people from social sciences and from the biomedical sciences as well. So it's a really interdisciplinary place to work. I think the main thing I'm going to take away is, you know, have own, having ownership over my own work and having confidence in my abilities. Before I went into this, I couldn't really stand over my work, where this has given me the confidence to realise that I do actually have the abilities to do research. I've had a lot of opportunities within the school in terms of teaching opportunities and um, people have offered to like read over my work and kind of give me other ideas of how to progress. My advice would be to get to know your supervisor. I do think you do need somebody who relatively knows your area, but I think it's more important to get a supervisor that you can go for a coffee with and talk about an idea, or that you feel will give you space to express concerns if you're having them. A typical day in a PhD varies depending on the stage or the year of your PhD. Um, my first year was really kind of exploratory, meeting clinical trial professionals, researchers, trying to understand my topic from a literature review point of view. My second and third year was pure data collection, travelling up and down the country with my voice recorder, <laughs> just really getting experiences from people. Um, and my final year now is just right, right, right. <laughs> a PhD can be three, four year commitment full time. Um, you really need to have a passion for what you're studying, um, especially us based in a healthcare setting. You can really see the passion in the researchers wanting to do something for the patients or wanting to do something for a specific disease area. Here in UCD we have a very structured research and professional development plan you put together with your supervisors and you kind of see the gaps that you still have to learn in your PhD or I suppose where you've come and that really helps shape your own career progression um, and that can apply to both industry and working in academia.